and you want to go to wherever you saved your first license or whatever that extra picture was then import that in here press the OK button there you go you have it it's in here now I'm gonna make this a little bit sparkly because I can and I like it when it's sparkly because then it shows up better in the game so you wanna set this to about 73 percent if you make it any brighter it doesn't shine properly if you make it any less it doesn't shine properly and all the cars use this from 73 to 75 but yeah for all of my mods I use it at 73 press OK when you're done with that and now you still see that this doesn't look like a license plate you're like oh my goodness what's the problem before you can go anywhere actually put the material on there turn off selected mode you want to right click the object that you want to edit. You want to hit the polygons plus button, click the material, drag down to your new texture, click apply, and OK. And you're like, woohoo, look at that! That's special, sort of. Everybody's happy. And that looks like it's pretty well mapped on there, actually. It's just mirrored from what you can see. Yeah, it's mirrored. And the back of the license plate is mirrored as well, but in a different fashion as well as the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another license plate. So I'm going to press create, copy, turn this from this to the thing like that. Click the right view window, copy it. You'll see there's two there now. Deselect the first one. Turn off the first one. Hit this little button right here. Turn back on selected mode. Make sure quadra is on and select. Click the object once. And I'm going to delete the front one. Just that front little part right here. That's the front of the license plate. Delete it. So everything else is the only thing that's showing. Right there. Woohoo. The back, the sides. Because we're going to make those black so they don't show up. So now we're going to go back into the materials. We're going to make another uh, new texture. This one we're going to call black. And in black, we're going to actually just make it black. But it's not enough just to make it black. You actually have to still add a texture, or else it will not show up. Turn off extensions. Click the material thing. Click license neon. Doesn't matter, because it's black. Press OK. And now click this button again, turn off selected mode, go back down here to the second license plate, press properties, right click press properties, go to neon light, go to black, click apply, click OK, and everything else is black. Now that that's done we'll turn it off, we're going to name it L-I-C-E-N-S underscore B-A-C-K, and this is going to be licensed friends. Let's use my ADD. So we're going to select the back of it, the side of it, scroll out of it, select the top as well as the bottom, and that means that everything except for the front has been selected. Now we'll delete it. Now nothing's there except for the front. Oh, the bottom is still there, so we'll delete that. There we go. Okay, everything is gone. The license back, then is attached. The back isn't sparkly, the front is sparkly. Everything is handy dandy. Alright, but you can see on the license plate that there's a neon light. Uh, the neon light is at the bottom. We don't want the neon light at the bottom. So to remove that, what we do is we scroll in. We'll scroll in on the back view window, and we shall select it with the vertices mode. We'll copy it, we'll go properties, we'll go mapping, we'll go edit UVA, and you can go generate new, but you don't need to go generate new for this. So we'll select the old mapping, turn off disable old mapping, go OK. Top UVA mapper, or UV mapper, all. Material, okay, fine, be that way. Mapping, edit UVA, generate new. You have to do generate new. 
neon license. There we go. Select this, modify, and scale it with C and Y, make it bigger. Then we drag it over the license. Get it right in there. I know that this line's supposed to be black and this line's supposed to be blue because I only made it. Yeah. You want to get it really close if you can. And go out. Deselect the left. No. Deselect the bottoms for this. Just select the tops. Scroll up. Again, deselection is control, and right click, and scroll over the two vertices, which are the dots. Go back out. Take these two now. Move those in. Perfectly to the side. That's really good. Okay. Now we hold control, right click, select the whole thing, and let go of right click. And there you go. It's mapped on there properly. See, for me, I got it so it's perfectly on here. Everything is not mirrored, but if by some chance yours is mirrored like this, see how it's mirrored on there? All you have to do is select it, the right thing, with quadrant mode on. Press the Z axis button, press the mirror button once, then click or right click, select it, and then click it again. And then you'll see that it's mapped on there properly, everything's mirrored. And you don't have to mirror your dot uh, your picture. I'll put this back in the top view window. Alright. Mirror is off. Selection mode can stay on. We'll click this. There we go. Back of the license is good, front of the license is good. Now we'll go attach. We'll attach license front to license back. And Bob's your uncle, you have a license plate that's sparkling in the front, not on the back, perfectly mapped on there. Whoopity doo. What time am I at for recording right now? I don't know, whatever. This is going to be a two part video. Three part video, possibly. It's going to be a long one. Alright, now to go to the uh, now to go down here and to create our neon light. Now you can see that there's two things here. So we'll go into the NRG, or DFF, the NRG itself, chassis dummy. I'm going to turn off all these extras. These are the little dots that you see right here. See, so miscellaneous pipes and engine front forks, now the or the rear forks are gone. You might want to leave those on though. Front forks, we'll turn those off because we will not be needing those. Handlebars are gone. Chassis stays on. Head back seat's gone, see? And then head front seat is gone. Those dots are gone. And in the chassis, we have extras. Extras are like the different parts on certain models in the game that will appear only certain times. So let's say that sometimes you spawn a Infernus and it has one crazy um, rear spoiler, and you spawn another one and it has a completely different spoiler, like my Infernus mod that I built. Okay, so turn off two because we don't need two. We'll turn off. We'll leave that one on for now. And the pipes are all gone. I have two bodies. Number five, which is this one. Number four, which is the bulky one. 